Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Evolve lesson. So this week we're going to be talking about Yardi Matrix. So Yardi Matrix is a, a company that compiles um, data and statistics on um, multifamily properties and you know commercial properties as well. A lot of times, what people use this for, if they're you know looking to purchase and sell and stuff like that, but it can actually be used for um, the, just using the data that is provided on apartment complexes so that you can better resource um, potential ones to sell your, your valet trash um, service to. So we'll kind of just go over a couple of the, the features of Verity Matrix. Um, and then it's something that uh, I recommend that if you want to see a more in-depth um, view of it, you actually can do a, uh, you know, a call with a, a sales representative. Um, it matrix, the Yardi matrix is a little pricey though. So I would just suggest using this when you're a little bit more established in your business. Um, you know, because it can range from uh, a couple hundred dollars a month to a couple thousand, uh, depending on, on how the deal is worked out and, and markets that you're going to be going in. So up front, you can see here just some key, you know, features, like I said, a lot of times people use it if they're going to be, you know, buying and selling, cause they'll talk about the loans, uh, construction, you know, all that stuff of it. But what, what really interests us is it talks about full ownership and management information, which sometimes can be difficult, right? Because um, maybe you'll find you can use this to maybe find some individually owned or smaller uh, apartment groups that you can actually get in touch with a lot uh, quicker and sooner. Um, complete property level information, including detailed unit mix, uh, rent occupancy, and sales history comparables. We're not The sales history and comparables were not really that um, used as much. Uh, but the rent and occupancy would be great, right? Because if you come in and um, maybe it's a C-rated building that it, it, it's just not going to work for you, but a B, you know, B plus, you know, might be good. Um, and it would right away would tell you on average, your occupancy is 92% and their rents are $1,200, you know, minimum uh, or average. So right away, you would know that your valet service would fit in there pretty well. So uh, it's just a good way to, you know, research your market uh, a little bit more in depth. Um, and then that way you can kind of, you know, go in knowing a little bit more information about the property up hand, uh, you know, before you go. So we'll actually click over here. Property types, multifamily. So like I said, if this is something that interests you, I would go ahead and schedule a demo um, because they'll walk you through essentially the reporting and how to view stuff. And if it's a good fit for your business, like I said, it can be a little bit pricey. So I would just be in a position where maybe you view the demo. Um, and if it's a little bit out of your price range at this moment, just kind of put it in your back pocket. There are a couple other competitors that we'll talk about in, in other various videos. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, they're all going to be a little bit on the pricey side just because of the data that they're collecting from all the apartment complexes, uh, you know, in your, in your area, um, and nationally. So the reason why I'm suggesting Yardi uh, up front is just because they are they have a pretty large grasp on uh, the country and, and, and areas um, that are you know high uh, highly populated or urban areas that would have a lot of apartment complexes in it so it's definitely something too that you know you would need to check to see if they're even in your market but for the most part they're in you know all major markets or majority of the major markets um, you know in the area so uh, like I said Yardi is um, yeah, it's it's pretty great. Great overall, it's kind of giving you a snapshot of uh, some of the property data. But we'll we'll explore here. So we'll just randomly pick one, so I can kind of show you what um, one of the reporting looks like. So right away, this is kind of just an over overview. You know, give you a, an image of the building, number of units, seventy eight. You know, the address, market. You know, Bay Area, downtown Oakland, and then once again with access to this, um, you know, you would get the phone number uh, and the owner information as well. So, and like I said, it kind of breaks everything down a little bit more into one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, it breaks down number of units, you know, total percentage used. Um, and it really kind of goes a little bit more in depth, like I said, into sales and loans, which we wouldn't really necessarily need because we're not looking to purchase uh, the units. But the occupancy history would be great as well because if you see a continuous uh, influx down, uh, it might be something that it's not worth your time to go visit that um, apartment complex. The same with rental rate history. If they've been raising rents each year, um, you know right away that that could be a sales tool or some leverage that you could use. Um, 
you know, I see you raise rents, you know, annually this year, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it because this is essentially what we're offering. You would be bringing in additional money. So you could actually use that as a sales tool. Um, when your sales team is selling, you know, an apartment complex or apartment to someone that, Hey, we're not raising rents this year, like everyone else in the area, you know, but we're bringing on additional amenities to support what we want to really, you know, uh, do for everyone. So, uh, so like I said, it's, you know, a pretty great, um, overall product because it kind of gives you an overview of all the data and stuff that sometimes is just hard to find. Uh, we'll look at another one here. That's just kind of hard to find in, uh, in certain areas, right? Cause you can only do so much. You can do your driving around and, and seeing, uh, locations. Um, you can, uh, you can use like apartment, you know, apartment guide. You can use all these things to kind of do your own, uh, information assessment. But really at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is work, smarter, not harder. And sometimes those uh, tools cost a little bit of money to, you know, help you, um, you know, drive sales in your market. And especially if you're looking to expand to a new market, I would highly recommend this because right away, it allows you to do your research and data collection upfront. And then you can just kind of hit sales almost right away with the buildings and properties you want to go after. So like I said, another one you click into constructed in 2019. So it's a new build. So right away, you would know that this would be you know, potentially something that's, that's great for you. Number of units, 183, right away, you can do your calculation because that's a downfall, right? If you're doing your own data collection and looking at units, you might even have to call and ask how many units you have to see if it's worthwhile or to go in and, oh, how many do you have there? But at that point, you know, you'll have to really kind of assess and see what works for you best. So, yeah. So in the end, this is uh, Yardy Matrix. Uh, like I said, it's just a very detailed, uh, you know, data company that's pulled in information from all uh, multifamily properties, um, you know, within uh, within larger markets. So, like I said, it's it's probably it's a great idea to jump on at least a requested demo and see exactly everything that um, you know is going to be uh, brought in information wise. Uh, common area amenities. So right away, it could give you an idea if maybe even Valley Trash is one that's even being used. So. Like I said, Yardy Matrix is a, is a great tool that you can potentially use to uh, expand your market and grow into new ones. Thanks for watching this week's Evolve. Have a good one. Bye.